Let's bring in now Dr. Ashish Jha. He is dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. Doctor, it's nice to see you this evening. I'm wondering what you make first and foremost of these recommendations for schools that the CDC announced today. Yeah, so Scott, first, for, uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, look, I thought the opening line of, of their report basically saying kids need to be back in school full time and they can be safely was exactly right. Uh, so I do think we're going to have schools back open this fall. That's really important. Uh, obviously, vaccinations are a really important part of this. You know, the controversial part around mask wearing, I get that. To me, the way to think about it is if you have very, very low rates of community transmission, if you're in Vermont, where most people are vaccinated and you have low number of infections, probably can skip the indoor mask mandates for unvaccinated kids. If you're in Missouri or, or Alabama or Texas, where the numbers are higher, uh, probably makes more sense to have unvaccinated kids uh, wearing a mask. So I think this will be by community by community. Let me ask you about the booster shot debate, debate which seems to be uh, raging right now. Pfizer said it's working on one, that we're going to need one come the fall. The CDC and FDA say not so fast. We're not so sure you're going to need it so quickly. What do we make of that? Can you cut through the noise? Yeah, absolutely. So we got to be guided by evidence and science on this. So let me tell you where we are. The data is very clear. If you've gotten your two shots of Moderna or Pfizer or your single shot of J&J, &J, you have a very high level of protection against all variants, including Delta. Uh, and I have not seen any evidence so far that anybody needs a third shot. If that evidence emerges, then obviously we're going to want to take that into consideration. In my mind, I think there's little likelihood that we're going to need third shots for most people. I can imagine for some, maybe, but we got to see the evidence first. No, no reason to be thinking about it right now. Could you take a, a different booster than the original vaccines that you got? Potentially, potentially. And again, we want to be guided by evidence here. So we're going to want to study that, uh, see if the effect is, is useful and, and better or at least as good. Uh, but I don't see any need for it right now. And if the evidence comes out that we need a third shot, then I think we may want to test things like mixing and matching. Yeah, the, the other debate seems to be over how fast or slow the FDA is in, in formally approving the vaccine. What do you make of that debate? And when do you think the FDA will actually do that? Yeah, you know, usually under normal circumstances, the FDA takes many, many months. Um, the, this is obviously not under normal circumstances. I, I don't want them to cut any corners. The they look at the data. The data here is in. It's overwhelming. We've got hundreds of millions of people who've gotten both the uh, Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. I think they should move much more quickly and cut through the red tape. My hope is it happens in the days and weeks ahead and not uh, having to wait many more months for that approval. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.